guys, this is just a quick video tuitional on the DLS5 and how to get into a DSC Neo if the installer does not wish to give up the installer code to you. Rather than sending a tech out and paying him $100 an hour to go and default the panel with a hard default, this is another way that you can access the panel. It's going to save you a lot of time, a lot of money and a lot of headaches rather than trying to retrace zones and zone names and label them etc. So guys, without any further hold up, let's get into it. So first thing you need to know uh, will be the panel type. In this case, we are using a 2128 version 1.3 and that's located on the green sticker on your PCB. So in this case, we'll use demo video as our reference for you to see. Now what you can do guys is you can type in there what your panel type is. In this case it's a HS2128 and then that shortens down your list of what you're looking for. So we've got the 1.3 Oz, we'll select that. It'll prompt you for your connection type. In this case we are going to say none. Located down the bottom of the list. Now it will ask you for your DLS access code. You can get this in section 403 in the installers menu or you know it's 2128 and then you just add zeros to you hit 6 and then hit create. Once you got it here double click on and what we want to do firstly guys is establish connection with the panel. So we'll hit the lightning bolt ensure that all of that is correct and then looking at the top here you can see we're getting communications through the COM port and then we want to watch the progress and efficiency bar and this will give us what's actually happening with the panel as you can see it's taken 15 seconds we've established communication between the PC and the panel so now we will scroll across to global upload. This will enable us to access the panel. Now as you can see again we've got comps through the COM port. It's showing its full efficiency and if we now watch this progress bar on the left that's where you'll start to see further information appear. As you can tell, it's now starting to suck the information out of the panel. This will take all the information out of the panel, including your communicator's information, if you've got one on there, all your users, user access codes, everything. So it's rather slow, but as you can see here, compared to doing a hard default on the panel, you know, which will take you at least sort of 15 minutes, depending on how many detectors you've got on the site, um, this is done in a total time of 4 minutes and 20 seconds. So either way, you know, by the time you use this method twice, you've saved an absolute ton of money. Now here's the other bonus. If you have to do a hard default on a panel, and they've got an installer lockout enabled, too bad, so sad, throw your, PG, throw your PCB out the window, you're going to have to buy a new one. All right. In this instance, if you come across here to System, Go to your installer options. I now have the installer code, so I can now change that. Also, if the original installer had enabled the installer's lockout, I can simply click on it and disable that as well. I can also change all that information here. I can also, if it's a large site with a lot of users, I can enter in all the users' names and codes all the way through. And then I simply go back with the information I've done through Global Download and I dump it back onto the panel in the same reverse fashion. And as simple as that guys, that's how you use the DLS5 software to get into a DLS Neo where you don't have an installer's code. Thanks for watching.